Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here we talk about perfumes and luxury and today I've got 10 out of 10 perfume lists for you guys. These are very exciting fragrances that I personally love. So if you're looking for some ideas for new winter favorites, here it is. Here's plenty of them that are just excellent. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and let's jump into it. And the first fragrance, oh my gosh, which one should I choose? Okay, we're going to start with the newest one in my collection. This is Onson Suave. Onson? I think it's called like that. It's from Mathieu Premier and I am obsessed with Mathieu Premier, okay? Don't blame me if I buy like three other fragrances from their line. Sprayer, amazing, very important. Oh, and the fragrance, it's just words, but kind of like Gaia wood and spices, a bit incense -y, such a, but still sweet. So uh, sweet, spicy words. This is a fragrance that has just stolen my heart. It's such a perfect winter scent because it's got that warmth, that spiciness. It's perfect to just give you a little bit of like smile inside when you wear it on a winter's day. This scent is really sticks to your skin because it's kind of like a syrupy woozy scent. It also, when I first smelled it, the woods in here are so intense that they kind of remind me a bit of like woods in um, by the fireplace. Those sort of woods that I love with a bit of vanilla. But this is, I would say, less like a campfire, but more like woods. And I love how this scent is just magical and different and such good quality you can really smell the the quality of the fragrance so love it and love the bottle as well so this one definitely recommend to you which love woodsy but sweet scents next up is santal 33 and this is a labo scent which i do wear all throughout the year but i find that even in the harshest winter day i took this fragrance to finland and wore it a lot and it's really cold but really cold it really stayed on my skin and scarf and everything forever so if you're struggling to find a winter scent that will really stay and really gives you a nice bit of cloud around you. This is such a perfect scent. I love woody scents and this one, it's woods with a bit of like pickle and I'm Eastern European, actually Central European, and I love pickles. Don't blame me, pickles, oh my gosh. I have to have pickles in my life. And this has got that pickle scent. It also has got creamy woods in there. So to me, this fragrance isn't too harsh, um, but it's extremely woody and very different. So you might hate it, you might love it, but if you smell it, you know it's Santal 33. Next is a fragrance that I've nearly run out of. It's so good. It's 11th Hour by Bayredo, and I love many Bayredo fragrances. I own only two in my collection, so I should probably change that. 11 Flower, this is a rum and fig scent. And if you think it smells good, it does smell better than you even think in your head. It's a fresh, but yet because of that boozy rum, it is it can be a winter scent and I find myself gravitating towards this one in December and January pretty much always. It's just the scent that you are kind of waiting for spring, but it's still cold. So you want a bit of that, you know, fig is quite a positive scent, but then you've got that rum that really gives it the heaviness. So you're like in between seasons. I love this one. Such a great scent. And me and my husband, we both wear it and we are obsessed with it. Such a nice winter scent. 10 out of 10. Next up, we've got Initio's Atomic Rose. I'm getting into rose, am I not? Like in my videos, I keep talking about rose and I used to hate rose fragrances, but I, something is changing, you know. Apparently your taste buds change every seven years. I don't know about nose, but maybe it's the same. Like they change and then you suddenly start liking something that you used to not like at all. But this is a sticky, heavy, 
I smell coffee in here. I love coffee, by the way, too. Coffee and a rose. And that rose, it is very rich in color. That's how it is in my head. It's not like a pale rose. It is just this like really nearly red, but pink rose. And it's got coffee in there. Sexy and deep and rich and dark of a fragrance. It is very powerful. I once sprayed too much of it and I was a bit overwhelmed, so don't go crazy. But this one you get, you know, sprays for your money. So if you want a fragrance that is very also different to your like designer sense, this is very hypnotic and moody and dark, I would say. Next up, I have to say by the fireplace, it has to be in here. It is just like a campfire with some vanilla. It is a very realistic campfire smell and it's just as good as they say. It's an amazing scent, especially during like the beginning of winter season or now that it's getting tad warmer. I find that this fragrance I really gravitate towards. And funny uh, fact is that I actually do wear it to like campfires. <laughs> you know, on the 5th of November, we've got a little event here, event, no, it's an event. Here in the UK, we do have Guy Fawkes Night. I would wear this scent and I also, we have got in our back garden, like a little place to burn wood. I don't know what it's called. I'm not very outdoorsy as you can probably tell, but I do wear this one because I feel like it's just amazing that scent of wood. It is a scent that is just memories go with it. It's a scent that if you want to make memories in the winter time, this is the scent that will definitely like stick there for a long time and last such a long time as well. Next up is my Mesa fragrance. Again, amazing atomizer. This one is called, what is it called? Mesa Elixir and it's got Arabic on here. So I won't try to pronounce this one, but it's a purple one. And this one I love because it's very warm and kind of coconutty and heavy and musky. It really feels like a scarf um, when you wear it. It's very luscious, not luscious, comforting and fuzzy, I would say. Loads of like a bit of um, like some slight fruit in here and then just coconut woodiness that is just perfect. I really enjoy wearing this one when I'm at home or when I feel a bit anxious. I feel like a lot of people struggle with anxiety after the pandemic and trying to like get back into things. So I love this one for that reason. And it's a beautiful scent that I, I like to keep scents that I haven't smelt before or that really surprised me. And this one is one of them. Next up, I've got my OG favorite, Note Vanille from Misa Lef. This is, just an amazing scent. I always say that if you love, what is it called? Jaw Hypnotic Girl? No, Jaw. I'll pop it here. The pink one from Jaw, the apple looking one. Then you have to upgrade and try this one because it's got a similar sweet feel to it with like a leather and just this resin like syrupiness. It's so delicious. Perfect for the winter time. I want to spray it. Oh, a bit even like it's got like a fruitiness, like a jam quality to it. Next one is <laughs> The Embrace from Navitos and this is a collaboration that I've done with them. So I was the creative person behind the scent and this scent to me is a perfect winter scent because it's like honey and sesame. Sesame is quite a pronounced note in this and I think it makes it very different and very gourmand. So I love how heavily sweet it is. Many people have messaged me saying they absolutely love it and they've bought backup bottles. So I'm really, really happy with this scent because I really tried to make something that was super comforting but yet super different and this is like a heavy gourmand scent um so love this one but i would say don't buy it from navita's side buy it from max aroma which i'll link i can't discuss why but let me just tell you that 
if you want to support me then buy it from Max Aroma. Thank you. Uh, next one is Enigma. Enigma from Roja and I've got the parfum version but I find that the essence is much more wearable and you would think that I would wear the parfum version in the winter time but I find myself grabbing this one just because to me it's a bit more youthful smelling than um, the parfum version and I love how even though it's a floral it's a it's a scent that has got lovely musks and vanilla also so it's a bit sweeter it's very comforting to me i would wear it in the springtime as well but i find that if i want a lighter scent but still with that intensity because this is quite an intense scent quite a dense sweet scent with loads of flowers in there i would say that i would wear this because it just gives me that uplifting nature of that flowers can give you in a fragrance but it it is quite sweet I would say it's more of a gourmand floral scent but yeah I love this one love this one a bit more than parfum even so check it out and the last one is stored in its pretty box <laughs> because I'm very protective about this one it's Vanilla, Vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior this is the new exclusive scent to me Dior's vanillas are just divine. They make the best vanilla fragrances. I love uh, Hypnotic Poison by Dior or the Toilette. And this has got that same play doh vanilla um, under all of the other beautiful things that are in here. It also has got a bit of like citrus opening. It's delicious. It's got that tonka bean which is a bit of it like a darker to me this is more like a bourbon vanilla not like a fresh vanilla but like a bourbon vanilla fragrance it's delicious it's got a bit of that coca-cola effervescence at the top which makes it such a fun and different vanilla and definitely a vanilla that is it isn't your usual vanillas like i've got so many vanillas in my collection but this one has got class it's not too sweet it just sits perfectly in the middle and it's a very sophisticated classy vanilla uh, to me personally and i love how loud it is when i wear this fragrance it really is so loud and projects so i only need a few sprays with this one um, and i was surprised with this because i thought that you know usually vanilla fragrances i don't know my skin just kind of eats them up but this one it really really projects so love this one if you want to really feel exclusive and expensive and buy yourself a, like a dual exclusive fragrance this one just divine and the bottle is amazing so can't wait for more dual fragrances that they will probably release this year so fingers crossed there's more amazing goodness from dual follow me on insta at monica underscore choch c-i-o-c-h for more content and i love you guys thank you for watching see you all again very soon bye